<laughs> oh, look at that sinker. Sometimes I feel like the most hated on, the most underrated. But no matter what they throw my way, my way, I still ride. You know it's our day, right? All through this ride, I've been high. So my brother thinks he's clever and funny today by making me Bulletproof Coffee, which if you haven't listened to our podcast on Bulletproof Coffee, go listen to it. It's essentially throwing butter and oil into your coffee because it's supposed to fuel your brain. Let me tell you something. The only, only thing it's fueling are your fat cells. Let me tell that. So look at that grease. I ain't even drinking it. I'm protesting. Don't drink Bulletproof, kids. Don't do it. So the reason that that's important is we're, we're generating that hip drive power. Uh, if you watch him, his hips sink back, all the, the deadlift movement, he's going to swing forward and bring the weight up. He's actually not lifting with his upper body. So um, that's how you generate that low body power that you need to be like that. Whack for daddy, you're there. Whiskey in the jar. Part of this is actually your back leg. If you think too much about your front leg or the bar going down, you're gonna it, it's not gonna come out right. So essentially, as you have this bar, too, too many people crump like crumple up like this, right? And then the lower back rounds, and we're not hitting the right muscles. So I want you to keep your legs straight. If we just do back leg, arms are dead. We get this thing to parallel. Now we feel stretching the hamstring. So same thing with the bar. All right, we pick this thing up. It's all my back leg tipping forward and balance on this the one leg we have, right? 
Да. Dead, not reaching, good. What you notice here, flat back, right? We're not we're not getting crumpled over with our arms reaching down too much, letting the shoulder blades fall. Mario with the balance work. Did it? You recording it? Yeah, it's recording. The challenge in the moccasins. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Rifled. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, so we cut lawns. Some of them bigger ones, like eighty dollar lawns. Eight bucks. How many times a week do they get cut? Eighty bucks. Uh, once, once a week. Yeah. So actually, this is a, this is a good point. So, actually, good point. Come on, come on, get over here. It's a good point. So, how we just had our our last podcast talk about the future of the industry and, and where I think pricing is going to go and what people are going to start spending money on. This is a good example here where our industry is a it's it's almost fickle, right? The, the the standards are so low that people are used to spending ten to fifteen dollars, and that's it on a session. And so when they hear fifty dollars a session, it's knee jerk, right? Like, oh, that's that's expensive in price. People are spending three hundred dollars a month cutting their grass. So now, what what argument is there that three hundred dollars, or one hundred and fifty, or one ninety nine, or five hundred dollars a month is too expensive for health? There just isn't an argument. It's just a, play, a matter of value. We're just not there yet. But like I mentioned in that podcast, three to ten years, we're gonna we're gonna see that reshape. People are gonna spend money on their health. Missed it. Just a natural moment. Missed it. Missed it. Just missed it. Do your jaw. All right, now hold on, hold on. That is not very, con that is not very convincing. Time. One more time. More mean, straight faced. Do your jaw. Vlog for uh, uh, I go to him three times a week. He's a chiropractor, uh, and what we're working on is uh, battling arthritis in my lower spine, as well as some inconsistencies in my spine as well. Uh, most of that probably stemmed from 13 years of football that I played throughout my early life. <laughs> so yeah, it sucks, but you know, it, as you can see, it's beneficial. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And pretty much in a nutshell, Dr. Grant faces the same struggle that me and uh, Fran face in our industry as well. We're pretty much both uh, swimming upstream, up, up this current, trying to, you know, topple this phony industry. So it's the same thing with Dr. Grant doing the chiropractic one. A lot of people think chiropractors are, are quacks, but Dr. Grant is a good one. <laughs>